Hello, it's me, Crazy Rebecca Dances with Pitbulls. How you doing? Okay, I made this pin cushion for my friend Ashley. She texted me last week when I was in Walmart, standing in line, and asked me if I would make one, and I said yes. This is from a tutorial I did way back. It's in the Crazy Quilt playlist. Uh, just look for pin cushion. But I learned a few tricks doing it again. So I thought we would revisit and put into practice some of the things I learned. And maybe if you haven't made one of these, you will try and it will be easier than my previous tutorial. Not easier, but well, you'll you'll see. So let's do a supply list. You will need two old CDs. I'm using a game and just a blank one that I found tucked away somewhere. Need those. You need a nine and a half inch square foundation piece. And what I want you to do is fold it in half and score it like that with your thumb. And then turn it and do it again. This is going to give you a center. And that will become important in a minute. You need some crazy quilt fabrics or cotton fabrics, whatever you want. It's your pin cushion. Use what you want. I'm using neutrals because everybody likes neutrals. Okay, I'm using this felt. It's got to be big enough like this, um, but I'm also using this wool. No, this, I'm going to use this other one. This. To make the base, the felt is underneath the wool. It just gives it a little bit of something something. You could probably leave that step out if you desire, or you could put the felt on the outside and put muslin or something on the inside. Totally up to you. You need a goodly amount of fiber fill. I probably don't need this much, but I might because I couldn't find another bra insert. So. I'm going to use a 9 inch plate to draw my circle with on my on my this once I get it covered in my fabrics and you need some threads I got a little piece of lace there's some buttons I have little pearls and gold beads you don't want nothing a whole lot of fancy on there, but you might want a little something something. Again, a something something. Okay. So I'm going to go over there to my sewing machine. I think I'm going to bring you with me. Just, you won't, you won't get like close-ups or really clear <laughs> pictures of what I'm doing, but it might be fun. You don't know. Okay, we'll, we will sew up our square next.
Here's our finished block. Here's our center point. I wanted to keep these smaller pieces there because that's where most of the embroidery will be done. Don't worry about these because you're going to turn a lot of it under under here when you gather it. I forgot to mention you need a strong thread and several different sizes of needles. I will bring my thread in in a second and show you when we get to that point. ahead and mark it. You don't have to worry. Probably a good inch, inch and a half. Like you could go ahead and embroider down to that point, but it might get turned under. So just be aware. I am not going to embroider on cam, but I am going to use these threads. You'll we'll just have to use your imagination and meet me back here for the next step. Click. Okay, I have decorated my block. Behold. This is the thread I'm going to use to gather with. My never-ending Nymo. It's at least 10 years old, probably more like 15 now. We're going to trim this. Don't have to be perfect because it's going to be hidden. I need a new pair of fabric scissors. with these oh, because they were laying there and I grabbed them and yeah you might be able to do this with a rotary cutter too Really? Okay, I have two needles already threaded, but I'm not going to make you watch me do this whole thing. About a quarter of an inch from the edge. Do a running stitch all the way around and gather. Okay, we'll do that off camera. But let's do this part. This needs to be out here. If I had a better color of felt, I would put the felt on the outside, but this green ain't what I'm going for.
hear that? The water in my furnace, in the registers. It sounds like the ocean now. Or a babbling brook. And you're going to do the same thing. I don't know why I cut that bigger. I just did. <laughs> All the way around. It's going to come in this way. Okay, so we'll do that and we'll be back. Okay, we're at a certain point again where I have gathered all this around. Also on this one I still have the thread attached but I've put the Escape the Museum game for Vist Windows Vista <laughs> which I never had. I went from XP to 7. to anchor it thusly. You could thread a needle again and do it some more. I don't know. I think it's fine. Right? Okay, so leave that one there. Oh, we need to stuff this one. don't have a bra insert for this one, I'm sorry to say. That's not enough. Be firm with it. Insist. Insist that it go. Be the master. Be the master. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> See how much of this 
is turned under. That's why you don't have to embroider all the way down. I learned the hard way. The hard way. Just play with it till you get it where you want it. You can still move it. How about that? This isn't gathered very good. And I just... Yeah, I did. Well, anyway, you get the point, right? You do two or three of them. By the third or fourth one, it'll be perfect. Okay, I'm going to sew this. Should I glue it? Why don't I glue it first? I'll glue it and let it sit. Oh Lord, oh Lord. All over. Emergency time, gotta run and get a wet rag. Okay, I should have written down my supply list. <laughs> you also need this trim. I don't know how much. Can I can I guess this way? I was gonna roll it. <laughs> like say 18 inches just to be safe. Just to be safe. I used it on here too. So, I went ahead and sewed at the top to the bottom, and then I sewed this on. I wish I had some pretty pins. All I have are yellow ones. So, <laughs> I don't know if this is any better than the first tutorial, but it is a reboot. And look how pretty. Okay, my friend Tammy is making me a bunch of these things. I went with her to Covered Bridge, remember? She makes pottery. So I'm going to make some pin cushions, and they're going to have pottery bases. I won't have that on it, but anyway, she's got me like a dozen of them drying right now. So, yay, yay. So, I need to get some blocks made. They're going to be like four to three inches. So, anyway, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's beautiful. I might give this away. Should I give it away? Let's do it. Leave me a comment if you would like to have this pin cushion. And please share this video. That would help me. 
share it. Share it somewhere. I don't care. Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram. I don't know. Leave me a comment. Let's see, what's today? It's going to be Friday. Okay, so next Friday, February 19th, we'll pick a winner. I guess that's it. I'm going to put a full list of things you need in the description box, click on the little arrow and it will open the description box and you can see what you need because don't count on me to remind you to tell you what you need. Okay, one more time.